we started working on it on the, towards the end of February. So it's been on the go for around about three months uh, to actually start the planning process and, and get some of the, uh, the joinery work done and all the bits that we needed to do. But actually to, act to put the garden in situ, it was around about three to four days to, to get that finished. We've, we've managed to be able to create the full children's area behind me and you can actually see from all the modular blocks that's actually based on Lego, all the concepts that we've got going inside, we've got the, the mini fairy gardens, all are really detailed, uh, the children's train track, the London Bridge, and it's all just bringing children into gardening and it's, it's really been well received. Even the, even the older people have seen, uh, we've seen smiles all afternoon and it's made, a, made us uh, really, really happy. We've then been able to do the, the family dining area. Uh, this is like a Mad Hatter's tea party. Uh, we wanted to try and uh, create a, an environment where anybody can just create this uh, very cheaply, uh, but effectively, you can, as you can see from the uh, hanging herb gardens to the uh, planted cupcakes, the, 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 the uh, play settings, and, uh, and all, all, all of it is actually used on their pallet furniture. Uh, and which is obviously really, really cheap to, to uh, create, but very effective. We jazzed them up by giving them like a nice chrome edge and like a detail. As long as we get the detail across and we've put the mirrors inside and we, we, we give it a nice finish and we paint it the right colour, it, it really does go well. And you'll see from the cushioning on the, on the L-shaped uh, pallet bench that it, it brings it to life. It, looks, it does look the part. We've got all sorts of plants. These are all alpine based. Uh, you see in the, in, the, in the bowls, there's a lot of succulents, a lot of sempervivums, a lot of house leeks, uh, and mainly just an alpine based uh, uh, trough. The cocktail area, well, this is made up of uh, Wetman Pinks. Uh, this is their cocktail series. So we thought we'll, we'll put in some, uh, some of their plants into actual cocktails. Again, this has been a really good uh, feature. We've had a lot of people coming on, taking a lot of pictures, a lot of snapshots, and it's been yeah, very, very good. Again, based on pallet benches, uh, very easy to replicate. It's really taken us around about an hour and a half to, to, to make. So it's, it's really something quick and easy that the visitors can take away with them. Living wall is all made up of Sempervivum health leaks. Obviously we've, we've put a, uh, an ER in there for the, for the queen. Uh, that's made up of Cedar Maker Orion. And then as you go along, we've put the, the, the uh, bird houses in, uh, the bug house and we planted the roof on the bug house as well, which is a really nice feature. It's been a mixed report of, of what everyone's favourite features is. I think everybody likes a little bit of everything, uh, but we've had little bits from, from, from the birdhouse to uh, the, the seating area to the, to the wood blocks. I just love creating something that, uh, that people like, you know, and, and the more smiles I can get and the more uh, that people actually enjoy what I've created, the more I want to keep on doing it. The judges' response was very, very positive. We got actually told it was a, a show-stopping uh, uh, display. Uh, we've got, we managed to get a silver gilt, which was fantastic for, for our first gardening. It's, it's a great achievement. And uh, we're looking forward to hopefully getting a gold next time.